this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Padlet. So first you want to go to Padlet.com and then you can log in. It will take you to your homepage where you can either um, edit a Padlet that you've created or you can create a new one. So I'm just going to make a Padlet for a classroom and let's just say my classroom um, is a math class and I get to pick the style that I want real easy. Uh, I'll just pick a wall here. Then once you're in this screen, you can change the settings. You can change the background, the wallpaper, the color scheme, the font, and um, the links to share with your students. So I'm just going to change here. Um, we'll just go to a texture and pattern. A little bit more friendlier for a math class. Okay, make sure that you save your changes at all times. And I will title it to family fractions because this is gonna be a fraction family wall. And I'm gonna ask my students about what they know about fractions and post a picture of their family and write some fraction sentences about their family. So it's gonna be a little fun activity. I have the option of um, doing a couple things here. One, I can... Display the author's name above each post. That sounds good. And then it's going to ask me where I want to position new posts. I'm going to say first because this is going to tell me who job, who came in and who didn't. Let's say I want my students to comment. I can do that. I can click on that link. So everyone who contributes to the post can also comment to the post. And you also have an option of grading, stars, upvote, upvote or like posts kind of a fun little option. Let's just give them an option to give stars or like, keep it simple. All right, and there's some other features that will give you some additional security. So like, <clears throat> if you wanna require approval, this will require a moderator to approve. So if you worry about students posting things that they shouldn't, you can click on these extra options here for content filtering. <coughs> And then I'm going to click on next at the top. So my post is all set. Now I have my fraction family. I probably want to start by just modeling what I want my students to do. You can have several options here. You could create a video of yourself giving directions, or you could just uh, make a post and give an example. So, hey, students. Share a photo of your family and write five sentences using fractions to tell us about your family. Okay. So I will upload a photo. Again, it choices here. I can either upload a photo, photo embed a video. Um, you could search the web for Google. You can even snap in real time if you want. And there's some other options here to allow you to be flexible with um, what you do in Padlet. So I'm just going to upload a photo. I've already selected a photo of my family. Real easy. And now there's my family. So I can share this with my, with my um, students. We got my family photo, and they can, uh, we can add a comment here. So let's say, you know, okay, there's two girls out of five are females. Two fifths of my family is female. And then three fifths are male. And then one out of five wears glasses. That's me, but I'm wearing contacts today. <laughs> so you get the point. This is how you can make a little bit of fun. And again, I've made the option of my students to be able to, to comment on their photos. Again, it's moderated, so I don't have to worry about that. Another option, if you wanted to go private, just click on this share link. You can have some extra options for security that will allow you to just make sure that whoever gets this link um, can have it can it can be secret so only the people who have the link can see it or it can be public so you have some choices you can also include a password that way only your students can access it with the password so you have some choices here as well 